Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing well. I know there's lots of things that we've missed out on so far this year and there were several big birthday parties and weddings that I was planning on going to and now we're not even going to have Christmas parties. I really love um, parties and if you've ever been to a party with me you might notice that you know I might be wearing my best dress but I'm not wearing high heels, I'll have trainers on and I might have spent quite a lot of time doing my hair all nice and fancy but within a short while of being there I put it up in a ponytail and there's a good reason for this because I really like dancing and that for me is, is the great exciting thing about parties and I don't want anything to get in my way so I want to be comfy and, and ready to go. But 2020 isn't the year that dancing stopped and actually I think 2020 is going to be the year that dancing should shine. When we very first went into to lockdown I was really worried about watching church online I thought oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to participate and you know and engage with it and I felt like it was going to be a little bit passive but you know, I found that it doesn't have to be that way. So, you know, you might feel a little bit weird or awkward at first, but if you stand up and sing along and, and clap and, and dance, you'll get loads more, more out of, of church online. And if you're shy, it's great because nobody's watching you. And then when church resumed again in the summer, I was a little bit reluctant because I was thinking, how, how am I going to not sing? I enjoy singing too. How, how am I going to, you know, participate in church without singing? But again, I found as the music started and as... as I made the effort to stand up, I thought I had to do something. So I found I was clapping even more and then if I let myself go a little bit, I could really join in with the worship through through dancing. And I wasn't on my own either. There were a couple of people, you know, I've seen you out there. Um, but probably a lot of people feel a little bit inhibited in front of other people dancing. But I want to encourage you that now is the best time to start dancing. So in the Bible, we are instructed to praise the Lord through dancing. We're told specifically that there is time for dancing. When the children of Israel escaped the Egyptians, Miriam led the women um, in dancing to praise the Lord. And we also hear about King David getting so excited that he took off his fancy robes and danced with all his might. There's no comment on the choreography in the Bible or how graceful it was or, or the technique or the style. It's just the emphasis is on the, the free and uninhibited expression of praise through dance. And some of us might not be feeling great right now. So it's good to know that dancing is a range of physical and mental benefits as well. And I'm going to give you a list here. So it improves the condition of your heart and lungs, increases your muscular strength, endurance and motor fitness, increases your aerobic fitness, improves your muscle tone and strength, improves weight management, gives you stronger bones and reduces the risk of osteoporosis, gives you better coordination, agility and flexibility, it improves your balance and your spatial awareness, it increases your physical confidence, it improves your mental functioning, improves your general and psychological well-being and gives you greater self-confidence and self-esteem. So dancing is great. So this Sunday, while you're in a safe space for your own home, I want you to get up during service and practice. In my house, there's so much dancing going on that Oscar gets really irritated because he can't see the screen. And the week after, hopefully you can come to church, but I'd suggest that you come in your comfy clothes, ready to dance in, in your own personal style. We're very privileged actually, that church is one of the few places that you can go and that you can hear and experience live music. So, so I don't want uh, you to do, be doing subdued dancing, but like King David, I want you to try dancing with all your might. I mean, I think, how do I know that I'm dancing with all my might? If you're not sure when that is, if you're red in the face and out of breath, that means you're dancing with all your might. But if you're really still shy and still feeling too awkward, you might need like a little stepping stone. Then how about coming to the next riot night? where there's plenty of upbeat music and there's always a loaded dance room at the back and the lights are down low in the dark and people won't be able to look at you. But if you look really hard, you might see me and Josie there at the back doing our moves. So I've left you with a couple of songs today to inspire you to dance along to. So have a great weekend. <laughs>